So I just wanted to do a quick update. Right now I'm sitting in Whole Foods parking lot eating unhealthy Chick-fil-A. So we're living life. As you can see, I have most of my stuff in my trunk because I did move two days ago. And today's the second and I'm working my second shift for the month, basically. Um, so I took a month off of work, almost a month off of work. I'm working the first and the second, but I think I'm gonna end up coming back at the end of the month to work so that they're just like kind of scared that I'm gone for real. But then I'm like, ha, I'm back. Like, I don't know. So I decided to take the mother-in-law suite at the old roommate house um the mother-in-law unit is one rent amount and it's all inclusive with utilities wi-fi water sewer trash and all that stuff so i i didn't really want to take it at first because i was like i don't want to go backwards but i started thinking about like what makes the most sense for me financially because of what's going on at work with um work being so slow and me just being stressed out financially because that was part of the reason why i moved out of this apartment was because like financially it was a lot and the neighbor upstairs was a lot it was just a lot going on at one time and my rent at the apartment that i just left was 1350 i believe for the rent and then water sewer trash together made it like 15 something every month and then i also had to pay electric and i also had to pay for wi-fi and that all totaled up to like 1670 almost 1700 dollars a month i was paying um which i knew that getting into this lease I was gonna end up paying that amount. And I was like, I'm gonna figure it out because work was steady at that point. This was like February. And so work was very steady. I was getting a lot of calls. I was pretty busy. But then during the summertime, work slowed down, which almost every summer I've noticed, work usually slows down because most of my patients are homeless. And so a lot of times when it's cold outside, the homeless will come into the emergency room. They'll say they're suicidal whatever to get into a warm place and so when the summertime comes they don't usually frequent the er's that much if they usually come it's truly like a real situation also a lot of these emergency rooms i was telling you about contracted with another facility that does the same thing that i do but they do it remotely and this is the same facility that i applied for which i haven't heard back from him it's been over a week now and he hasn't gotten back to me about my application and i'm not going to contact him because i'm trying to like look at all the signs around me that's happening and that was part of the reason why i took the roommate house because she just happened to contact me right when i found out that my lease was ending and i had nowhere else to go and so i was like i, I need to pay attention to what's going on with the i don't I don't believe in that whole like what the universe is trying to do um because i'm more like god fearing and so i kind of like look at it more like this is what god allah is trying to do more so than the universe i'm not that kind of person but i don't knock anybody who's who does the universe thing who says like all oh, the universe is setting up signs for me and all that stuff but there are little things that keep happening that i need to pay attention to and then i also I also made the Istakara prayer, which is a prayer I was telling you about in the last video or the last, I don't know where, where I said it at, but the Istakara prayer is a prayer that you make when you need help making a decision about something that you can't make a decision about on your own, something you're uncertain about or unsure about. So you make this prayer and then you basically ask Allah to help you like make a decision and to, and you'll basically um, get your response in the form of like a feeling or like signs or things is going to, you know, things are going to fall into place if it's going to be simple. And if it's not, then it, it'll, it'll be really difficult for you to get it. Tell me why my car just stopped running. And now I'm like sitting in a tow truck right now, towing my car to Toyota. Like I was at a hotel and I was going to the old apartment to get some stuff. And my car just started jerking while I was driving. And I didn't think anything of it because that happens to me sometimes. But then like I, just, I pulled over, turned it off, turned it back on. And then when I tried to take off again, the check engine light came on. So I don't know. Part of me is like this couldn't happen at a worse time but it's like when is a good time for your car to break down it's like my car i'm just like grateful that my car has even lasted this long 
So this is the loaner that Toyota gave me. It's got a huge screen here. It's a Venza. So it's Venza on the floor. But Toyota tries to put you in like this 2021 car to make you like trade your car in. They put me in a hybrid. I really like the shape of it. Like how it sticks out right there. And it does it in the front too. It's like this little duck nose. I don't like that. The seats are not leather though. Oh, maybe they are. They're like fake leather. It's like a sporty car. When the car is in reverse, it like lets me know that somebody is coming behind me. <laughs> like my car does not do this. I don't have scissors, so I'm trying to improvise. All of these hair dryers are pretty much the same. Like everything is pretty much labeled number one, two, three. So you're basically just mixing the developer with the ammonia-free color. I don't know why they tell you to clip this before shaking it. It seems like it would make more sense to leave it sealed. Right? Like, like why would you want me to break that off so now I gotta put my finger on this hole? My hair is like that light brown color. And I tried to just deal with it, but like as my hair is growing out, it seems like the color is just sticking around. So that's why I got it. She gave me the extra large. I want the extra large cat, man. <laughs> so I just thought about something. You know how like criminals come to hotels and like they dye their hair because they're trying to like hide out from someone or like escape someone. I just like put my hair dye in the trash can and I was like, these people are probably gonna think like I'm <laughs> like running from the law or something. Like I just, it's like super random to dye my hair in the hotel, but I was planning on dyeing it before I moved and I didn't get a chance to. And so this just seemed like perfect opportunity because I'm not doing anything today. I'm not working tonight. So it just seemed like the best opportunity. I wanted to go to work tonight, but I thought it would defeat the purpose of like taking the month off and making them feel uncomfortable. And I heard back from the, the job earlier today when my car broke down, the gentleman emailed me about the remote job and it sounds like I'm hired. Um, he sent me some documents that I need to fill out and send back to him. And it sounds like they kind of are gonna want me to start like right away. So I might be quitting my other job during this month break. So um, I did work last night and I didn't get any calls. So I was just on call, but I didn't get any calls. So I, I've been in the hotel room since last night. And um, I was gonna put myself on a schedule again tonight, but I just thought about the fact that I don't have my, um, oh shoot, I don't have, oh, I can't go to work tonight. I don't have my wig. My wig is in the car. My wig's in the car and my um, my computer for work is in the car. So I can't even go to work anyway and I don't have my hat. And I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to go get a hat for work. So yeah, work is not gonna work tonight, I guess. I've been watching Love Island US. This is like their recent US season. I found it online here to watch and I just don't understand how they expect you to like find love in such a short period of time. Like they've literally only been in the house for like a week. It's like a lot of kissing on the show, like a lot of kissing multiple people at one time. Like a lot of people are kissing each other and then swapping partners and all kind of stuff. And I just don't understand, like, I understand they've been tested for COVID, but you can still catch mono, like from all the kissing, right?